Hello everyone, welcome to Bit of Anatomy. In this tutorial, we will see the histological features of the muscular tissue, which is an example for contractile tissue. So if you see the classification of the muscular tissue, it can be classified based on the function into voluntary muscles, so which can be controlled by our own will and involuntary muscles which are not under our will. Based on the structures, that is the presence or absence of striations, it is classified into striated muscle and non-striated muscle. The skeletal and the cardiac are example for striated muscle, whereas the smooth muscle is the example for non-striated. So out of this, the skeletal is voluntary, smooth and cardiac are involuntary in nature. So if you see the features of the skeletal muscle, it is striated, it is voluntary, and there are some exceptions like diaphragm and the muscles of the eyelid where it is partially voluntary. So if you see the structure, each muscle cell is long cylindrical and it contains numerous striations in the form of alternate dark and light band. So the nucleus is situated in the periphery, it is flat and it is multinucleated. So alternate dark and light band or A and I band and multinucleated peripheral flat nucleus. Surrounding each individual muscle cell, there is some amount of connective tissue called as endomysium. So if you see the transverse section of the skeletal muscle, we can see that the muscle fibers are arranged in bundles or groups and the nucleus is situated in the periphery of each cell and each cell is surrounded by some amount of connective tissue called as endomysium. The bundle is surrounded by connective tissue called as epimysium and the entire muscle is surrounded by thick connective tissue called as epimysium. Bundle is surrounded by perimysium rather. So the major function is they carry the blood vessel, lymphatics and nerves. So if you see the striations, they appear because of the presence of myofilaments, actin and myosin. So the regular arrangement of the myofilaments. Myosin is a thick band which is present in the center whereas the actin is the thin band which is present or intervenes between the myosin filament and there is Z line on either side. So the part where only actin filament is present is called as the isotropic or light band and part where both actin and myosin is present is called as A or dark band and the area between the two Z lines it is called as sarcomere. So in the central part where only myosin filament is present it is called as the H zone. So coming to the cardiac muscle, so it is an example for striated muscle fiber, so it is involuntary in nature. So branching pattern is the characteristic feature of the cardiac muscle. In addition to that, there will be presence of intercalated disc. So the cardiac muscle cells, they are branched and this branch will reunite with the other branches. Intercalated disc separates the cell and each cell contains a single central nucleus and there is presence of both transverse and longitudinal striations. This intercalated disc is present between the adjacent cells and it helps in foster transmission of impulses and makes the cardiac muscle physiological syncytium. Coming to the last muscle that is the smooth muscle. So this is an example for non-striated muscle, it is involuntary with few exceptions. Each smooth muscle cell is spindle in shape, it contains a single nucleus which is situated in the center and there is no striations because the myofilaments are arranged in irregular pattern. So if you see the cell, it is spindle shape where the central part is bulged and the peripheral tapering end and each cell contains a single central nucleus. So these are the features of the histological of the muscular tissue. Do subscribe for future updates. Thank you.